The goal of this chapter is to help you get familiar with connecting to SQL-like data sources within the Nest dashboard. Although we will be using Microsoft SQL Server 2008 as our data source for this video tutorial, note that the same steps would more or less apply to Oracle and MySQL. The sample data that we'll be using throughout these video tutorials is derived from our own sample database called Sonatica 2010. This sample database comes with Dundas Dashboard as part of the install. Let's start off by going to the Design Explorer and clicking on Data Connectors context menu. Next, click on the New Data Connector menu item to create a new data connector. Type in a meaningful name. Let's use 2.1.1 so it's easy to associate this tutorial with this data connector for future reference. Click on the provider drop-down list to see the available providers. We can see that Dundas Dashboard provides popular data sources, but for this tutorial, we are going to stick with Microsoft SQL Server. Don't worry, we will cover other data sources in subsequent tutorials. Remember that this tutorial is relevant to Oracle and MySQL as well. Next, fill in the server name text box. Note that the drop-down list will automatically filter out server instances available as you type. For this tutorial, we're going to use a SQL Server security account, but you can use Windows Integrated Security if need be. Click on the database name drop-down list, and we will see a list of available databases. Select Sonatica 2010. To make sure that the settings are correct, click the Test Connection button. If there is a problem with the settings, then a dialog will appear stating the error. In our case, the connection is successful as indicated by the dialog. To make this data connection available for creating virtual structures, click on the Save button. A dialog will now appear that will prompt the choice to auto-discover the database schema. The data connector will detect tables, views, store procedures, and functions associated with the Sonatica 2010 database. Here we can see the objects within this database. Here's something interesting that we can do with the database tables and views. If you feel that they are clean and friendly for creating business metrics, we can quickly promote them to a Dundas dashboard virtual table, like so. We will talk about the purpose of virtual tables in a subsequent video so you can appreciate the benefit of virtual table promotion. We have successfully created a data connector using a SQL database. We can now use the data within Sonatica 2010 to create virtual tables. As we mentioned earlier, the same concepts apply to other SQL compliant databases such as Oracle and MySQL. This concludes our tutorial on connecting to a SQL database.